Hey you guys, happy 4th of July. I really hope that you're having a good day so far. Um, <clears throat> so today's video is pretty much just a bonus video. It's 4th of July ideas. I guess you could call it last minute since it's literally the day of 4th of July. And I'm actually filming this intro the night before, but anyway. So yeah, today's video consists of makeup. Trust me, there's only one clip of makeup. Um, an outfit idea, if you still don't know what you're wearing. Um, also, um, what else was it? Oh, some treats, and then, um, a last minute DIY. So yeah, most of these things are last minute, because some of these materials you probably don't already have in your house, but if you do, you're incredibly lucky. Um, but I just wanted to post a video on the 4th of July, so anyway, I don't want to make this video any longer, so let's just get on into it. Okay, so let's start off with some makeup. So, I'm starting a lot, uh, off with a concealer base, and I'm just, you know, gonna blend it in. And, of course, I use it on my upper eyes, because my upper eyes are dark. Anyway. Next, I'm using some mascara. I'm not doing anything too special with my eyes, because... I just don't do anything super special and my eyelashes do not naturally curl with the mascara so I'm gonna use an eyelash curler getting my bottom lashes too so yeah that's cool okay so here I'm using some really old blue eyeshadow um because blue is part of the flag um and then I'm also using some white eyeshadow and I'm gonna like make a half heart design like on its side like half of a heart but putting it on its side if that makes any sense you'll see what I'm doing here and I'm also putting the white on it um my nose like in that little crease where my eyes are you'll you see where it's at too um and I'm not trying to put too much on but it looks like I'm putting a lot on next I'm putting on some red lip gloss slash lipstick um I couldn't find the one that I wanted so I was just using one I made and then I'm also curling my eyelashes um, it, <laughs> I make it look a lot more vigorous than it seems. Wow, okay, I'm gonna edit that out. And here is the final look. I really hope you enjoy it. Don't mind that eye roll, and yeah. And now for the DIY. So all you need is a star-shaped stencil, pencil, scissors, and patriotic paper. I'm just calling it patriotic to shorten everything. Cut out the stencil, trace it, you know, what I'm doing here. Do it to all the paper. You see what I'm doing, so I hope it makes sense. And it, yeah. And it, here's what it looks like officially. Um, it, they're just like stick-ons. You it, stick some tape onto the back of them and stick them on your window. I think it looks really cool, and I hope you it, like the DIY too. And here we are, the outfit. I'm just wearing this tank top that's like blue and white tie-dye with this red shirt underneath. And then some regular pants with some white canvas shoes that have blue socks to go along with them. Then I also have these silver earrings that I'm wearing. They're hoops and also a bandana. Um, and uh, yeah, um, a bandana. And don't mind that, I'm being weird. And now for our food DIY. So I've just got some chocolate melts. Um, I've got blue and then I've got white. The white you can color to red. I couldn't find any regular red. So yeah, I just went with what I could get. And I melted them in the microwave. Follow your instructions that your bag gives you. Um, and then I just poured them into it, um, this little star flower mold, whatever it is, flower mold. And I was trying to find a star one, but I couldn't find one. So I just went with flower, but it still turned out perfect. And yeah. <laughs> And here's the finished product. I hope you guys like this. If you try it or if you just like the DIY, give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. Um, and it was kind of hard to take out of the mold, but it was actually pretty easy at the same time. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And I really love the colors. Um, I just love how it turned out. Hey guys for watching this video today. Once again, have a happy 4th of July and love so many fireworks that you won't even be able to hear tomorrow morning. And you guys are amazing, and um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Be sure to subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video, and give this video a big thumbs up for the 4th of July! <laughs> I'm obsessed <laughs> with the 4th of July. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. Bye!